you have the some configuration you have the configuration of your machine okay so your if your machine in, in some configuration say configuration eighth configuration you may have from this, this configuration machine can go to the other configuration okay so it's plus one like this it go <clears throat> it goes for different configuration so it has only from this configuration machine can go to this configuration it should not happen that from the configuration i machine can possibly go to two different configuration either it can go to this configuration or it can go to this configuration or more it can also go to this configuration so <clears throat> This is the way you can say that machine is having the choice here, in which configuration it has to go. So when the choice comes, then this is the situation of non-determinism. So <clears throat> whenever you don't have any choice, you just, from this configuration, you have only one configuration to go, then this is the situation of your deterministic period, which is known as DPD deterministic push down automaton so in case of the deterministic push down automaton you have one machine has only one way to go from one configuration to the other configuration it has no other way assuming that m is the push down automaton so if you have some machine m which is q sigma tau q0 z0 a delta then you can say this pda then the pda m is deterministic if what you can say first condition first condition you can see that for any q which is taken from the q okay and you have some state means you are in the some state you have some input say you have some input a a can be either sigma or you, you know that you can also have the null transition. So A can be, A can belongs to sigma union null. Okay. So for any Q belongs to Q, A can be this. And you have some symbol, which is the tau, which is in the stack symbol. So you can say that some, some X, which is in the stack symbol. The set QAX, this is the set, why? Because this is, this is the set because it can have possibly, you know that you can have more than one elements. The set has only one element. Okay, so <clears throat> you know that some state you have some input or you have the null and if you are going to make the transition on behalf of the some <clears throat> stack symbol, then you know that you are going to what? You are going to some finite subsets of this. So finite subsets of this so <clears throat> means what you have the output can be any state say this is q1 you can say assume q1 and alpha can be any string from the tau star so you can say alpha 1 alpha 1 is the string so this is one subset of this other one can be q1 alpha 2 or so this is okay this is this is you have the one subset other subset is q1 alpha 2 then you can have q1 alpha 3 so <clears throat> this these kind of all possible subsets are there so this is one subset this is one subset some subset has only one element some subset has two elements some subset may have three elements like this so since 
we have the infinite possibilities so we have some finite subsets these are the subset this is one subset this is one subset so you have some finite subsets so when <coughs> the output of this is what some subset and once this set has only one element this means you say that machine has only one choice means machine goes to the only from one configuration machine has to go only there is no choice available means machine goes from one configuration to the other configuration uniquely this is the second so this is the second condition your deterministic machine holds what it says that if delta q if you are in some state of the machine and you have the null transition for this top of the symbol x so if it is not empty means you have the null transition for this top of the stack symbol then from the same state q for the same top symbol you must not have the transition for any other input means this is must be null machine even you have the null transition but you have specified the null transition only for this top but if you say that if you have the both kind of if you are at the state q and from the state q you have specified the null transitions null transition and for the top of the symbol x and it goes to the say for example q dash and if you have also specified the transition for this you have also specified the transition like this you are at the, at the same state q and you have the input a and the top symbol is x and you may replace with say alpha 2 if this is the case of this is the case of non determinism why it is so because for this top symbol x you have null transition this is not empty means you have shown the null transition for this top of this symbol and for the same top symbol for other inputs a can be um, sigma for any other inputs a you have shown the transition now machine has two choice because stack top is x here stack top is x here machine has choice whether i should consume the input or whether i should not consume the input because top is x so machine had two choice if top top for the same top you have the two choices one choice is you can read the input and other choice is that you should not read the input so this is the case of non determinism that's why the second condition says that if this is not equal to m means if this is the transition for this top if null is the transition for this top then for the same top symbol you should not have the transition for other input symbol if your machine is going to meet these two conditions then you can say that given pda is deterministic so then the pda m is deterministic if you have these two conditions satisfied so <clears throat> this is the way you can say that machine is deterministic okay so this is the notion of the deterministic case in case of the pda so by definition your pda is non deterministic for <clears throat> even now you have seen that even present of the null transition is not sufficient to say that machine is non deterministic for being non determinism you have this kind of situations means if you have given some transition for some you have given the null transition for some top symbol of the stack and you have given the transition for some input for the same top symbol then this is the case of choice and this is and this is the non determinism but if this condition holds true means if this is not empty means you have the transition for this top symbol but you have not given the transition from the same state for any other input symbol for the same top then yes you can say that machine is deterministic one so for the case of determinism your machine must hold these two conditions okay so <clears throat> the machine which is going to hold these two condition is known as dp deterministic pushdown automaton 